Want to hunt some mutants with a real colonel from duty, Private? How about this, Colonel? You get your hunt, and I get some information. I need to get into the commissary quietly. And I hear you know the place like the back of your hand. <laughs> I used to have every rodent out there lining up to report to me until that bastard Roosevelt. Well, it's none of your business. You want information? Load up your boost. We'll see if you're fit for anything beyond wiping freedom's asses. Nice report. We're gonna butcher them like cattle. Hey, over here, you freak. Okay, since we've got nothing to shoot at, here's an idea. I'll give you some time to hide your ass, and then I start shooting. Survive for one minute, and you'll get your commissary pass. That's what you promised me last time, but here we are. Duty's word is stronger than a burrow's head. Be a good sport. And you'll get yours. So, how's about it? Sure thing. You can't hate anything anyway, Colonel. We'll see about that. I'm counting to three. Time's up. Now run! Damn, yeah, that feels good. I don't know how much time this proof yet. But we nailed those freedom bastards one by one. You alive over there? Good. Now we can talk. Impressive. You just made my day. Now, about the commissary. Use the pipes to get inside quietly. They go all the way around the building. Climb in through the bathroom in the courtyard. Then get on the balcony and you're in. Don't fall for Roosevelt's sweet talk. He's an asshole. Remember, you're only alive because I wanted it that way. The Colonel never misses. Colonel takes care of his men. Where's your escort, Colonel? That's enough questions. A duty Colonel answers to no one. Colonels don't wander around the zone alone. It's none of your business. Now run along, Private. A few more questions. Sure. Let's hear them. Anything I should know about the commissary? Nowadays, it's run of the mill. little hangout. Except they shoot a little better. Takes time to piss that duty train away. Roosevelt? Who's that? Friend of mine. My best friend. The bastard. He and I used to give freedom hell back in the day. Until the ward got us in a chokehold with their fucking armistice treaty. Anyway. So we ended up here. At the garbage. This place. The air here turns people into trash. Then the power went to Roosevelt's head, and he kicked me out. Said I was too drunk. So what? Those freedom sons of bitches are living their best life. 
and we're stuck here hunting those brood scum. Why shouldn't I get loaded? What can you tell me about duty, Colonel? The duty I knew is all but gone. No, they're just the ward's lapdogs. But at least those dogs still get sicked on bad guys, instead of just carrying caution on slippers in their mouths. Why do you hate freedom so much, Colonel? Because they're pussies. Only pussies with gut rookies who haven't even got a whip in persona yet. If I'd been at Rostock back then, Mikluha wouldn't have gotten shit. Run along now. Impressive. I'm here to give orders, not gossip. Flapping your gums doesn't win wars, Private. Run along now. Who are you? What are you doing here? Did the Shah finally hire someone who could slip past my guards? Or was it Varan? Eh? Doesn't matter. If you want to start shooting, take your chances. As for me, I'd rather talk. Well, speak up. First of all, I'd like to know what they offered you for killing me. Coupons. A lot of them. Business as usual. There's just one thing. Nobody's gonna pay you. You must be new to the zone if you don't know that. You can only trust the bandits as long as you're holding a gun to their head. What about you? Don't compare me to the likes of Baran and the Shah. I served in duty for ten years and I might just go back one day. But first, I need to show certain wannabe generals how to take out the trash in the zone. The bandits aren't people like you and me, Lona. They're more like rodents. Dumb, greedy rodents. And unless you deal with them, they breed like rodents. That's why garbage is crawling with them. But that's my problem. Let's make a deal. I still have connections in duty, and I'll pay good money for my life. Let's settle this like civilized men, okay? I need your PDA to convince the client you're actually dead. That dog won't hunt, Stalker. My whole life is on that PDA. My deals, my connections, my money. You might as well just shoot me. All right. I'm listening. Good. Here's the deal. I'll tell my guys to let you out, and you'll leave the commissary base real quiet-like. Once you're out, I'll contact you about the reward. You have my word as a member of duty. I'll take your word for it. And good luck. Talk to you soon. <laughs>